Hey guys, it's Gazza Montana here, the original demo disc player. I hope everyone's doing alright and everything. This video here is a guide on the Special Vehicle Works missions. Uh, this is a tier 3 and 4 guide. Uh, also a money guide because this is double money and RP this week. So uh, yeah, these are worth doing for money and RP this week. And uh, they're very fun missions, but we're just going to go over to tier 3 and 4 here. You have to complete these missions all eight of them on the hardest difficulty and that will tick off tier three where it just says complete all special vehicle works and and then tier four um it says on hard so just going for them all on hard you're going to get them both on tier three and four now these missions can only be accessed from the ceo office computer okay so you need to be in a ceo and you need to be at the computer to start these missions. These are two player minimum missions this week because they're double money in RP. I recommend if you haven't got these done now, uh, play them now because a lot of randoms are going to be dropping in and out of these. You can easily do these with randoms. And don't worry about if you die, because even if you die and you respawn from a checkpoint, it still ticks off on the tiers three and four. If you like this guide, make sure you drop a like on the video. Uh, Timestamps will be down below. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Now, the first mission out of these special vehicle missions is the ramp buggy mission escape escort one of you guys have to drive the ramp buggy while the other person has to drive the rumpo van you have to head on over to the union depository where a robbery is taking place uh, the driver of the rumpo van has to be the getaway driver for the robbers from the union depository whilst the other player is simply just driving in front taking out barricades with the ramp buggy to make it easy for the van to get to the drop-off point very easy mission guys very fun mission as well the next mission here is breakdown recovery you have to go to sandy shores airfield and steal the wastelander from inside the hangar try not to blow up the wastelander that's inside the hangar if you use a terrader this will be the best vehicle to use for this have one player grab the wastelander from inside the hangar once all of the npcs are dead around the wastelander whilst the other person is in the terrader protecting the wastelander all the way to the end the drop-off point and you should do this mission pretty easily next mission here is clean up up you have to get on the blazer aquas these uh, blazer aquas are quad bikes that can basically go on the water so when you're on the water press l3 to go into boat mode and then once you're at the first location which is miller's fishery you can blow up the transport truck from this position here. Once you've done that, you then have to head on over towards Fort Sancuda along the river, and then you have to blow up four more transport trucks that are now driving around. You want to split up into two teams here, or if you're with more than two players, um, even better. But uh, you might want to take these transport trucks out with something else besides these Blazer Record guns. Use either an RPG or rail gun, explosive snap rifle. And once you've taken those out, you don't have to take out a bunch of boats along the sea here. Uh, again, use the railgun or the explosive sniper to take them out very easily and then just take the blazer records back to the drop-off point and it's mission complete. Now, next mission here is Asset Seizure. This is probably the hardest mission of the, the lot. This could basically be a heist final. Uh, it's pretty much like a heist final, this, this mission. You have to go to three different locations and steal back some product that is being seized by the cops. You're using the Phantom Wedge. But you can use your weaponized vehicles. It's just a bit difficult to get it to the first location. Your, your weaponized vehicles are spawning and whatnot. So you want to just go to the first location with the Phantom Wedge. One of you bag up the product. The other one, shoot at the cops. Now for the next two locations, spawn the personal vehicle when you are next to the uh, second location. And I recommend using the Terrader. And then one of you could drive the Phantom Wedge to the last location whilst the other person is using the radar but at times it's going to tell you to all get into the phantom wedge to actually activate the next uh, part of the mission where it tells you to bag up the product so keep that in mind and uh, you might just want to spawn the weaponized vehicle at the location but yeah like I say I reckon my I recommend the terrader for this mission uh, just so you know guys if you die and respawn at a checkpoint you can't spawn your personal vehicles from that point onwards so uh, try not to die now the next mission is firewall protection you have to drive the rocket baltic cars now these cars you can press r3 to boost with uh, this mission's very easy guys you just have to go and hack two moving targets and you just do that by using the app on the phone and stay next to the car very very easy mission once you get to the end of the mission you have to, just have to go and kill a bunch of attackers outside the secure serve hq 
and just don't let them kill the blue dots and the mission won't fail and it's mission complete guys simple as that the next mission here is coast guard duty now this mission you have to drive the technical aqua towards a yacht where you have to kill the npcs on the yacht and then destroy some products but you don't want to both be on the technical aqua right at the beginning have one person on a mark ii oppressor and fly around and just blow up all of the npcs on the yacht then the person flying the mark ii can land the mark ii on the yacht at the back of the yacht right here and then throw some sticky bombs down right here in these locations right here where the product is going to spawn when you get into the technical aqua with another player okay so once you're both in it and you're both at the yacht that's when it's going to trigger the next point of the mission and uh, then you can just get back onto your mark ii destroy the product with the sticky bombs by pressing uh, left on the d-pad and then protect the technical aqua as they are escaping to the drop-off point while you are on the mark two still and uh, yeah you should be able to do this mission pretty easy guys now the next mission here is end of transmission you have to drive the armored box fill over to the power station and when you actually enter the power station once you cross the bridge whilst both of you are in the armored box fill, that's when it's going to trigger the next part of the mission to grab the transmitter now you've got a choice now one of you can jump out before that point and fly in with something like the hunter and just rip into everything and just kill all of the npcs all over the power station because there's going to be a lot of them but you could jump out after you have passed the bridge and it's telling you to grab the transmitter and uh, kill the enemies that way from the flying vehicle like i say i recommend a hunter maybe a savage uh, you could use a trader or a conjali or something you pretty much use anything you want but i recommend the hunter and now have the person who's driving the armored box will grab the transmitter while you're still in the hunter because a few more may spawn just after that and then you have to drive back to the city now you have to both get into the armored box fill for it to then tell you to get to the city and um like i say this is where it's going so you could just drive there and then both get in when you're in the city um but if you're playing it with randoms you're probably gonna have to just get in otherwise they're not gonna know what the hell's going on now the last mission here, Arms Embargo, you have to go over to LSA, jump in the Runa 2000, then you're going to get picked up by the Cargo Bubs and brought over to Fort Sankudo. Now they're going to drop you above Fort Sankudo in the Runa 2000, press X on the PlayStation or A on the Xbox to activate the power shoot of the Runa 2000 and head towards Fort Sankudo. Once you're in Fort Sankudo, you have to take out a bunch of supply trucks, uh, Cargo Bubs, and then finally a cargo plane. So once you've taken out all of the trucks and the helicopters and then the cargo plane, you don't want to leave Fort Sankudo. You can go to the end of the runway, the west side of Fort Sankudo, and then head north from the end of the runway and jump the fence by using the vehicle's jump capability, which is L3, and press X to activate the parachute. And then you should be on the motorway and then just head north until you get to this bridge and jump the bridge and parachute off of it towards the beach here and then you're at the extraction point and it's mission complete guys very fun mission now if you just want rp so you just want to like get a load of rp this week yeah the two missions that would probably be the easiest is escape escort and firewall protection now the most enjoyable mission would go to arms embargo so you could do that um, and the most hardest mission is going to take way longer than 50 minutes is asset seizure so you get the maximum payout not the best payout per uh, time to money ratio just it's just going on and time to rp uh, ratio but it's just going to take a long time you're gonna get a ton of rp at the end of it um so yeah those are those are my recommendations and um that's pretty much in the, the video guys so uh, drop a like on the video if you found the guide helpful subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more gta content like this one have a lovely day godspeed we'll see you in the next one uh, peace out <laughs>